Hello everyone and welcome to our second video in how do I get my students to write? Today we're going to talk about encouraging and inspiring them. So I know as teachers, we, we know we are supposed to be happy and excited and entertaining. It's like we're putting on a show all the time. But I just want to uh, remind you that it is so important to let your students know that they are doing a great job. It is so important for you to give them praise um, and to let them know what they're doing well, even if it's the littlest thing, like you are really on task today, or wow, you are ready to go today. Um, and that you are excited about writing time, even when you're not. I want you to pretend that you are excited about writing time, that you're excited to share their writing, um, your writing, that you're excited to see what they have to write, um, that you're excited that they are trying. I just want you to really remember that it is going to help. If you're excited, they're excited. It's going to help them to want to do more, um, to write more, to share more. I also want to encourage you to really build that community. So we know as teachers that having a safe place for our students is so important. And that letting them be themselves and getting to know them and letting them know that you care is super important. And it's the same thing in writing. Not only do we need all of those basics um, and that foundation of a community, but we also just need the chance for writers to talk to each other, for them to share ideas, for them to share their work, for them to brainstorm with each other, to rehearse their writing, to revise their writing, to edit their writing all of this to be able to do together because it helps them in so many ways. One, going back to that safe place, when you have t uh, writers who are afraid to write anything, this is going to help them to feel like it's okay, right? Everyone's trying it, especially if you as a teacher are vulnerable enough to share your own work, that will really help them as well. Um, but having this community where they hear from each other, they hear other students and what they're doing, it's going to help them to have new ideas, to have topics to write about, to have experiences that they think about writing about. And um, this community is really just going to give them help, right? If you work with the students on how to help each other, how to ask questions about their writing, how to look at it and say, oh, you missed a period, right? Um, that is going to help them. And that's what writers do. They have editors. So we want them to have this community of writers. And then finally, celebration. Let's celebrate the work that they have done. Let's do that in little ways, like bringing in a snack and just saying, hey, you guys did a great job. Maybe they each get to read other writing or a portion of their writing or in big ways. You could have a writing on the walls event for your school where everyone um, all around the school, you have writing put up and parents and community members are able to come and see them and hang up compliments um, about their work or where parents come in, friends come in or other classrooms even just come in and they get to read their work to each other, do a little like inside outside circle where they all take turns reading to each other um, and you have a snack or something like that. You can look online. There's so many ideas for ways teacher have teachers have celebrated. It gives them something to look forward to and it gives them a way to share with others, to be those writers who are authentic, they have an audience to write to. So I want you to think about these things to encourage and inspire your writers. I know it can really make a big difference in what they are doing in writing, what they're able to do, um, and how well they're going to make um, progress in their work, and just make writing time more enjoyable for you as well as your students.